2014 was a, a year when we saw ourselves coming out of, I guess, what everybody had seen as a few years of uh, slow growth. Um, I think for us, the reasons may be a little different to other firms. You know, with our heritage is in Washington, our uh, global headquarters there, I think we have had to adapt and change our business in Washington to account for uh, the political impasse that there's been for some time. Um, and I think, in a way, we've sharpened our approach, we've adapted the way we operate, and we've re reoriented our business so that we're in the right place for future growth. Um, I think elsewhere in North America, we saw strong growth in pharma and healthcare across the board. So that's in Washington, but also New York and other uh, centers for us, Chicago and elsewhere um, in, in North America. Um, internationally, um, solid performance uh, across our European markets in spite of slow growth or no growth at all in some of those key markets. So Germany and France, which are kind of core to us in continental Europe, strong uh, areas of business. Um, and likewise, uh, in Brussels, we saw an extraordinarily strong performance by the Brussels team in 2014. We'd had a slow period and it's come around in a very impressive way. There is huge energy, uh, a lot of growth from uh, multinational corporate clients in the US uh, and in Europe. I, a lot of that is oriented towards emerging markets um, and also adapting to a new kind of stakeholder environment that they're less familiar with uh, and trying to understand who are the new sort of truly empowered sort of stakeholders that they have to engage with around the world. Um, so I think business flourishing internationally uh, from a corporate base, but also more and more business coming from um, high net worth individuals, from foundations, um, from hedge funds, uh, are private equity, and, um, and, and multinationals based in emerging markets as well. Our clients are all looking to grapple with an evolving and changing business environment that they're less familiar with. Um, so I think we embrace some of the disciplines of a management consultancy. We have some of the characteristics of a professional services firm very much advising boardroom, but also we have the reach and the tactical capability of, a, of an agency when it comes to understanding reputation and to uh, executing for our clients. Those that come to us are looking for strategy and guidance and advice, but they're also looking for the same team to secure and, and ensure strong tactical implementation around the world. So I think we need to be the grey hair advisory firm and the strong trusted partner when it comes to delivering services around the world.